Hey, welcome to the Spatual Channel. Today we're going to craft something truly unique, a parametric wall. Let's dive right in. Alright, let's get my Spatual 1 quarter compression spiral bit set up on the CNC machine. We've got a file all prepped, I'm ready to go. And then we will use CNC machine to implement these designs. Look at the machine, we're carving our prep design into the wood. The CNC is our workhorse, transforming a blank canvas into art. Watching the design come to life is always a thrill. Once the machine has done its thing, we'll remove the freshly carved wood panel. It looks good, isn't it? Now, let's get to work on those rough edges. I'll start by sanding them down to get rid of any splinters or rough burn. And I will sand them while arranging them neatly to ensure none are missed. After making those wood pieces, we still have some onion skins left on the wooden board. I'll use the rick and band saw to make an initial cut. Now, using the band saw, apply even pressure and follow the line. The bleach occurred on the pull stroke. You can see there are still some details that haven't been cut well. That's where my special one quarter compression flush trim router bit steps in. I'll mount it on the router table and tighten the jig pit. That's where my flush trim bit steps in. Carefully make a cut along the edge of the wood. Let's take a moment to appreciate the precision of this flush trim bit. See the difference? The edges are looking sharp and smooth now. Moving on, it's time to craft the fixing strips for the back side. We're talking about a size with a width of 25mm and a thickness of 7mm here. Now, we're moving on to attaching each wood block to the wall. I'm applying a generous layer of glue to the sides of each piece. Then, I'll attach them to the fixing strips on the wall. And to ensure they don't fall later, I will use an air-powered staple gun to secure them in place. When it comes to attaching each block, I use a 6mm thick wooden strip to maintain consistent spacing. Here's a little trick, because the boards have a small contact surface with the wall. You can be sure that the blocks are perfectly perpendicular to the wall. And in order to keep the distance between each board consistent, I put a small block around the edge of each board to hold it in place. And the final step? Just wait for the glue to dry completely. There you have it, a parametric wall. Thanks for joining me on this woodworking journey. Until next time, keep creating. Spadio, make your work easier.